Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Thanks for checking out my channel. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live and Mr. Popsit Fishing, two other channels. It helps the whole brand grow. I appreciate the support. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here, Greg Lynch, Durham PA. We have something that we see very common, which is blackheads. And this can be from scar tissue, inflammation, when a lot of times we're teenagers or younger. You can see a history of cyst, which is very common as well. And these clogged pores, you know, will build up and turn into more epidermal inclusion cysts. Like this one's just starting if we don't get the contents out. So we got him all prepped and ready. I can see on the shoulders there. We've got a couple dozen we're gonna do today. We'll get these out and he'll feel a lot lighter and a lot better, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so we've opened up some of these pores here. And these are just gonna be what you're gonna see is oxidized plug at the top, which is why it's dark, because oxygen causes that to oxidize. And then underneath will just be some paste and sometimes you'll see a little capsule, almost like a sack. And we get these out and they should be clear for quite a while for him. Looks good up here. We're just going to kind of move our way up here. If I'm pushing too hard or it's too sensitive, you just let me know. Yeah, I, got yeah. Tattoos, yeah, I know, huh? This, this is nothing. <laughs> there we go. That's good. It's okay. Another small one beside it there. Keep moving up this way. This is just a pimple that's healing there. That's that oxidized plug. There's a two for one there. It went out both sides. <laughs> that's good. Two plugs. Another one here. Pretty good sized plugs there that are dry. You can get two extra sticks ready, please. The stick transfer. <laughs> <laughs> so what we like to do on these is kind of get below them there and then just roll that out. Mm -hmm. I'll usually stabilize one and push against the other. Looking good. That's good. Oh, sometimes my knuckles get in the way there, sorry. And the benefit uh, we always talk about on the channel when we clear these out, we can get like an exfoliating moisturizer like amlactin or something called ammonium lactate, uh, which has 12% lactic acid, which actually exfoliates excessive dead skin that can be on the surface that will clog these pores. Getting that gentle exfoliation once we clear these out can kind of help slow down the refill process. And he'll still refill, but it, it can slow it down. It can be very beneficial, which is good. A lot of people ask, so what happens after you get them clear? Mm -hmm. And that's what we recommend. Now you got a little inflammatory one here. Sorry, that one might be a little tender. We open that with a little needle and just get that little bit of pus out of there. Kind of Scratching at that one. Finger. Oh yeah. my finger on it because I know you can't scratch that stuff. Yeah. Looks good. Let's come down here. I think he had a little dry one right there. Just a couple. Stick down. <laughs> Get another one. Very good. That one had a little something to it. <laughs> yeah, that one hurt a little? Yeah. Yeah, some, you probably felt it pop. They pop a little bit. Yeah. Some of these ones will. It's looking good. I'm just gonna get it right here on, on the surface. There's a couple bigger ones. All clustered together here. Mm.
Sometimes sunburns also when you were younger can predispose you to getting some kind of scar tissue development. Mm. Just inflammation. Thicken, like thickening of the skin. Alcohol. Yeah, absolutely. Especially smoking. Smoking sometimes yeah. will reduce sebum and oil production, which will kind of dry things out and make you more prone to getting some clogged pores. Mm. So we do see that. Um, thickening of the skin, which is called solar elastosis from sunburns mm -hmm. and then smoking, all those things together. A little bit under that other one that we got there. Looking good. There's one, there's one right above that scar. Let me just open that pore. That's the laser, sorry. <laughs> right, A little poke right into that pore right there. I don't know if people think it's a drum roll, actually. <laughs> it mm. kind of sounds like it on video. It's weird. So that was just a little one right by the old scar where he had a cyst. Very good. A couple small ones here. And a lot of people will say, you know, he didn't get everything out. I always come back and roll that skin, roll back over. When you see a little bit of blood, that's how you know. Mm -hmm. You're at the bottom of the pore and nothing more is coming out. So he's got the last one. The last ones here is a pretty big one. Yeah. This is a pretty good one here. It's going to be kind of like a follicular cyst here. And that's a big dry plug and a pretty good size pocket underneath. And that's like as close to the beginning of a cyst as you can get. I don't see a big lining in there. Just an open pocket. Mm. And, uh, you know, slowing down the refill is important once we get it out. I always try to push from every angle on these. That one's empty. So that's good. And there's another one, I think, right here. Very good. for the ride and grab this little brother there. <laughs> there. Okay. It's right over the bony prominence on the shoulder there. Very good. Oh, It'll be a half a pound lighter when you leave. <laughs> Just rolled off. Good. Good. Yeah, you know, it's like I don't, I don't want to go to the beach. I don't want to go swimming. Or yeah, anything, you know? when you have these, you mean? Or, yeah. Yeah. So it's good to clear yeah. them. It's looking really good. I mean, we got definitely somebody will count online for sure, but probably over forty or fifty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's quite a bit. That one's clear too. So I'm gonna make sure that pocket was emptied out. That's pretty good. Yeah, he had one right here that we got earlier, too. This can be kind of deep. Sorry for pushing too for hard it. there. Yeah, sometimes those will get rolled up hairs in there, too. You can see. Mm. Pretty common. Yeah, he's got a couple little follicular cysts there, too. That, that one's like a little cyst. I'm going to poke just one pore here. We'll feel a little sting and we can clear that out. Hopefully not too bad. Yeah, I think I saw one more right there. There you go. Fresh sticks here. And we'll get behind that one. A little pressure from underneath. That's coming out great. Uh, that's good to get out of there. I think there was one other. I'm just going to push forward. Sorry, I got to push kind of hard. I know it's cranking your neck down when I do that. There we go. That's a good squeeze to get that out. It's kind of deep in the crux of the neck. Very nice. That's another thing. I used to be a headbanger back in the day. Oh, yeah. They all got bad necks now, huh? <laughs> 
That's so well, true. You know, you know why the singer from Slayer said they're retiring? Why is that? He's had eight surgeries on his neck. Oh, man. Just from doing the headbanging for 40 years. Yeah, so. I think somebody told me the lead singer at Tool had his hips replaced because he yeah. stomped all yeah. the time. Yeah. All the time. Like, every. imagine how many years he did that. That's looking good. So you can bring up here. Okay, that was pretty standard uh, blackhead extractions on the back there. We got quite a few. It's good to get those out. We're going to give them a good exfoliating uh, moisturizer. Thanks to him for sharing, and thanks for popping by.